What is going on you guys? This is Demonic Ducky here bringing you yet another GM Connected of the New York Rangers. Well, technically it's not GM Connected, but it's BAGM mode. Same difference except no multiplayer. How great would that be if they brought GM Connected to Xbox One? Which, I'm not worried about that. Anyway, this is episode 11 of the New York Rangers BAGM mode. Uh, um, we do, we have been struck by the injury bug really really bad we do have a lot of players out on injury they'll be back in the next few days so we just gotta roll up the lines we have now until then they seem to be fine and I have another I have more news for you guys this will be the last season like once we hit the playoffs this season this is the last season I will be doing the New York Rangers I want to switch to a different team I don't feel like I, you guys like the Rangers, well, I don't really care for this Rangers DM. I want to be a different team. I want to be a team that's more in the rebuild, that doesn't have some players already set in stone for the next few years. That's what I want to do. I want to be able to grind for some graph, draft picks and see. Anyways, we're going to sim up to the trade deadline today. Let's go ahead and see where we got going on the stats. Rick Nash is leading the team with 52 points, which he should be doing. Derek Stepan did lead us through the season last season, even though he did have injuries. Look at that, 52-43, huge drop off. That is a huge drop off. We want that to be, we want everybody to be like, at least up there for our first line, which seems to be fine. We have had a lot of injuries. Let's get right into this because we do got some simming to do. We are simming to the trade deadline. No more, no less. Next episode will be the trade deadline. Then I'll have I'll have the trade deadline, which what might just be it could be it depends on what we feel like doing. We are gonna pack our team to be in the playoffs this season. We are winning this cup. No doubt about it. We are bringing home the Stanley Cup to New York to, to, not tonight, but this season. <laughs> I almost said tonight. Not tonight. Ooh, 4-3 loss to... Ooh, we got a trade. Thomas Konechi. Thomas Connie, my bad. I don't know what I'm thinking I'm doing for a third round pick. Nope. Become trade deadline, we're, we're going to have a stacked squad. We are going to stack our entire squad. We are bringing home this cup. We're doing best lines until then. Best lines. We're rolling best lines until then because everybody's injured. We are winning the Stanley Cup. Without a doubt, we are bringing home the Stanley Cup this season. This is going to be my last season being New York Rangers on NHL 15. NHL 16 comes out, I'm going to be any team you guys want. And I can't wait for NHL 16. Alright, 3-2 win over Florida, that's what we want. Come on, let's keep these wins going here. We only got one, we lost two. We don't want to lose some, we don't want to lose games, we want to win games. I already said no to that trade, I'm not going to change my mind. Alright, Montreal, going, going back to MSG. Take on the Habs. We win. That's what I'm talking about. We need to keep stringing these wins together. 4-1 win. Hendrick Lundqvist can play that night. Now we're playing the Penguins. Come on. Let's shut down Crosby and Malkin. And we do. 2 nothing. Shut out. Hendrick Lundqvist. Now we're going to play the Buffalo Sabres. If we don't beat the Buffalo Sabres, we have a problem. We have a problem. If we don't beat the Buffalo Sabres. Come on, boys. Beat those Sabres. One nothing. That's what I'm talking about. No, we don't want him. Keep these wins rolling. Keep these wins going. Look at that. 4-1. 2-0. Nothing, 1-0. Nothing. 5-4. There we go. Our goal didn't come to play, but our scores did. Keep these wins going. Keep these wins going. We need to guarantee ourselves a playoff spot. Two nothing win. Best month so far. Best winning streak we've had in a while. Keep these wins going. Come on, the big bad Bruins. They kicked us out of the playoffs last year. They kicked us out of the playoffs. 4-2 win. That's what I'm talking about, boys. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to battle the Devils. We're going to beat those Devils in MSG. Most historic arena in hockey. And we're going to beat them there. A 3 nothing loss. That's okay, because we won a lot. <laughs> you know, 
I don't want to get too hyped up here, but we... That was an amazing winning streak. We're, oh, why am I scaling? This is the last season. We're not going to be doing the drafts. We don't need the scout. Keep simming. We're playing the, we're playing the Philadelphia Flyers. We, we need to beat our rivals here. In our home ice. Hey, anyway, look at that. Back-to-back -back wins. That's what I'm talking about. We're not trading anybody. Look at this. Look at this. In January. Look at this. We beat Florida. Then we beat Montreal. Then we beat Pittsburgh. Then we beat Buffalo. Then then we beat Detroit. Oops. Then we beat Detroit. Why does it do this? This isn't Jesus. <laughs> then we beat Detroit. After we beat Detroit, we beat the Kings. After we beat the Kings, we beat the Bruins. We kicked us out of the playoffs. We lost to the Devils, but that's okay because we won two back to back after that. We keep these wins going. We hit. If we hit 36 wins in at, by the end of this sim and before the trade deadline, we're making it to the playoffs. Going against the Blues. Blues have an amazing record 30, 17, and 10 compared to our 32, 21, and 5. Ooh, we lose. We don't want to lose, boys. Come on, we have to get more wins. Get those wins, boys. They seem to do better when I'm hyped up. When I'm hyped up, they seem to win games. 3-1 win. That's what I'm talking about. We don't want Al Montoya. I'm a Penguins fan and I don't... I'm not a Penguins fan. I'm a Panthers fan and I don't like Al Montoya. That's what I'm talking about. 3-1. But, whoa, wait a minute. Did that say 5 nothing. I'm going to let that slide. As long as we keep winning games, I'm going to let that slide. Come on, they play better when I'm hyped up. I wanna be hyped up. Let's go. Win some games. They seem to play better when I'm hyped up for some reason. So, win this game against Calgary. We have home ice advantage. They're not coming to our house. Three. Okay, something's going on here. We lose the next one, I stop sim. It's my rule. Three in a row, we stop the sim. Playing Edmonton Oilers. Taylor Hall and the Oilers. New J. Hopkins. What? Whoa, the Oilers have a great record. Whoa, okay. That's a surprise. There we go. 3 2. We are almost to the trade deadline. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and finish out the trade deadline in this episode. Do some trades and everything. Four two. Dan Boyle. <laughs> Bad injury. It's alright. Okay. So our last season. I'm looking to finish this season out probably probably by the end of the week, you guys. That way we can finish get on to something else. Uh there's nothing this team I don't there, I don't feel like there's that much we can do for this team anymore. So we're gonna switch to a different team. If you guys know a team I can be you can leave it in the comments now, and I will most likely be the team you guys vote on. There we go. 3-1 win. Decline trade. No, stop sim. Okay. Today is the trade de deadline, which we have been doing great so far. Let's check out Rick Nash. Still leading the team. 66 points. So he has been he has been scoring. He has been getting a lot of points for us. There we go, Derek Bassard trying to fill that gap. 56 points, still 10 points behind me. That's good. That's Derek Stepan. Derek Bassard is a little bit more out. 49. That's that's fine. That's fine. As long as we're starting to score more, that is fine. Look at Keith Handel. 41 assist. 41 helpers. That's why I have him on the first line defense. They probably moved him back down to the second line. Because I've been doing best lines because I don't feel like changing the lines. Because he gets boring watching that. Because we're just going to stack our team anyways. For the playoffs. I'm, I'm talking about stack it. I'm talking about I want playoff performers. I mean, we're not going to do something crazy like trade all our draft picks to get Crosby or Thames or Stamkos. Not that crazy, but we're going to stack our team. We are winning this Stanley Cup. I'm talking about good playoff performers. We will get some playoff performers. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start working on that episode now. That way you guys can have that. I'll work on that episode now, and I'll upload it. Actually, no, I'm going to wait, because if you guys want me to pick up any players, any players you guys want me to pick up, I'm thinking we're going to trade. we got to trade some young players, because, I mean, come on, this is our last season. I mean, look at this. Look at all the good players we could trade. We could trade Carl Hagelin, if he's... Oh, no, we need Carl Hagelin. Oscar Clefbaugh, we could trade him. 
I mean, look at this. We could get rid of we could get rid of our prospects. Our young prospects who hasn't even played. Thomas can actually. I mean, I'm talking about. This is the last time we will be playing New York Rangers GM mode season. We need to stack this team for the playoffs. I'm talking about we get people like get get a uh, Milan Milan uh, Lucic. I mean, look at that. 87 overall, power forward, a left wing. We need a left wing power forward, someone who's got to make sure that puck gets in the net. If not him, get someone like. Uh, I don't know. Jakob Borchek? That might be a little overhand, though, because I heard he progresses really good. What is his overall now? Jakob Borchek. Did they trade him? They traded him, that's crazy. They traded Jakob Voracek. Wow. Well, I don't know where he's at. Jeez, look at this Pittsburgh squad. Just look at this. Sidney Crosby is at 97 overall now. Yigini Monk is 93 overall. He's still the same overall. Dave Perron went to 87. That's ridiculous. Everyone else is about the same. They're really one-sided though. They're not really well-rounded. It's the first two lines back a bunch and the rest really okay. I'm talking about we get people maybe mm, we could get Logan Couture or Joe. I don't really want Joe Th Thornton. He might be easier to get than Joe Pileski though. Pick up a Joe. I mean we could get we could get TJ Oshi. I would not mind that at all. I mean this is our last season we're doing New York Rangers. If one of you guys want to see me get damn close, I'll get damn close. You guys want to see me do it? I'll do it. Say the words. Leave it in the comments. Leave a like. I'll do it. We'll get Phil Castle. We'll have a really hard time getting Phil Castle. But we'll get him. If the Penguins can get him, we can. We'll get the Sedine Twins. Wow, they got Connor McDavid. Look at that. They want to get rid of the Sedine Twins. If you guys think that we should stack this team for the playoffs to make sure we walk out the Stanley Cup, I'll get Dustin Bufflin if I have to. I don't know where he's at now. We're good. We're not getting over you. I'm not going to go full out crazy. We're getting Nicholas Backstrom. I'm not going to go full out crazy and get someone like Ovi or Crosby. I'll get Stamkos if you guys want me to get Stamkos. I mean, I'll pick up someone like Ryan Kessler or Corey Perry. I'm not going to pick pick up one of, like, one of the best players in the league, like, top three wise. I'm not going to pick up someone like that. I mean, I consider some people, like... I'm not going to pick up a Bergeron. I mean, I could pick up a Bergeron or a David Krejcik. But I'd rather pick up, like, you know. Because that's going to take more to just get those players. And it would be a lot easier just to get, like, oh, players that are, like, just a few overalls lower. Like, Milan, Milan Lucic. Or Louis Erickson. Or, you know, someone like Jeff Skinner, probably. A 90. Jeez, he progresses well. I heard he progresses well, but I never thought he would progress that well. Just pick up some Ryan Johansson. He's a good one. Just pick up some people who, you know, put the puck in the back of the net. Stack the lines. We're only going to stack our first two lines. We're not going to be like, I'm not going to have like Patrick Kane on the first line, Jonathan Thames, and Patrick Sharp on the first line, and then do, I don't know, something crazy like Stamkos, or Stamkos, or Vetch. No, I'm not stacking the team that bad. I'm talking about we're just getting scores like Matt Duchesne, we'll get Matt, as much as it would kill me to get an Avalanche player, we could get Matt Duchesne, Gabriel Landisloff, uh, Stars is out of the question, I don't like the Stars. We'll get, I don't know, someone like, let's look at this, there's Pavel that no, we're not stacking our team that bad, as I said. Anyways, there's a player you guys want me to get, if you guys really want me to stack the team, let me know, leave it in the comments, leave a like, anything. Uh, any games you guys want me to play, that giveaway is still around. The giveaway is if you comment a game you want me to play in the comments, I will, by the end of the month, I'll get all the comments together and see which game I think would be the best for me to play. And if I play the game, you do win a prize. That's in the video before this, that mine, where I played Minecraft, that gives you more information on it. I'll probably have another video that gives you guys more information on it coming out soon. Anyways, the next video will be the trade deadline, and I will see you guys then. Any trades or anything, please comment, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye.